Like they probably met up with the uh, final deviation people. Fatal deviation. <laughs> fatal, fatal as a fatal deviation. <laughs> yeah, they go to Ireland. That would be I, that would be a crossover. I would Ooh. love to see if Dragon Sound just showed up in that fucking. Uh, sequel, Fatal Deviation with uh, with Miami Connection. Fatal Connection. <laughs> Usually that's already a movie. Yeah, Fatal, Fatal Connection. Connection has to be. All right, Miami Deviation. Whatever, that's definitely not a movie. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the 60th episode Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad. The show where we watch terrible movies and tell you you should too. I am your host, Mr. Brian Chilgo, the other host across from me, Mr. Kyle Hinton. God, Brian, we're more than three feet away. From I know. This is we're further away than normal. I can't reach out. It's a little strange. We'll be even further away when we get the actual table in here. But that's it. The 60th episode. It's a little bit in a, a little bit of a it's been a little bit of a doing to get to this episode. Yes. yes. <laughs> had some camera issues, we had some technical issues. We had Rip. a new studio moving. Rip but Cannon T3I. Riffs. In the arms of the angel, fly away from me. It's Rip Cannon. Uh, but we've done it. We're here with a new camera replacement, and we're filming the 60th episode, and we're talking about Miami Connection against the ninja. Oh, Kyle, I rewatched this movie. I watched it about uh, two weeks ago when we were going to first record this. I had to rewatch it to refresh myself. This movie is a delight. I loved this film. It is everything that is right yes. and wrong about the 80s. Yes, it is a glorious. It's so sincere. It's so that's one of the things that I'm rewatching it that I found so delightful and funny about it is how sincere like just how happy they all are for each other all oh the time yes. is so delightful, but so silly at the same time. Oh, it's I I just I I had a lot of fun watching this movie. Um, so it 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 starts. It does start in Miami. The interesting thing about Miami Connection. Most of this film takes place in Orlando. Yeah, most of it is in uh, around UCF. <laughs> yeah, Central Florida University. Yeah, University of Central Florida, which yeah. is in Orlando or near Orlando. I'm pretty sure. Um, so I am convinced that all of Florida, like, there's like areas of population, and the rest of it is just like alligator infested swamp. Florida, we welcome you to the Sunshine State. They're kicking back and soaking. I, I don't have to be convinced of that. I'm pretty sure that's the reality of Florida. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've only been there a couple times. I'm not gonna, I was really hoping at the end that somebody was going to get Get eaten by now. I mean, they're in like a weird swamp, not swamp, but like a little creek thing, tributary. And I was like, man, there, there needs to be an alligator in there. There was a moment where they were ambushed from underneath the water, but it was just YK Kim with a samurai sword bursting forth. <laughs> So it does start in Miami with like a drug deal that is yes. going on. Yes. And it is a group of ninjas, right? Um, it is the ninjas come oh, in. Oh, they come later. in. Sorry. It's, it's, it's like you have your drug gangs. guys and yeah. your money guys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they have the, the most intimidating henchmen ever yes. with their awesome mustaches and like huge yeah. rim glasses. Yeah. And they're like, oh, they have Uzis and leisure suits. And I'm like, yeah, this is a bad 80s drug deal. It's, it's like <laughs> Miami Vice, but yeah. less competent. Yeah. It's pretty glorious. But I love that they all have Uzis. Yeah. And bad mustaches and sunglasses at night. And, and then the motor, we start getting cuts to motorcycles. I'm like, this is, was, and, and ninjas on motorcycles, yes. which, Kyle. Okay, of all the things that could ever describe a movie, this is up there with <laughs> cavemen and fighter cavemen jets. Cavemen flying, flying fighter jets. <laughs> cavemen flying fighter jets. That is a sentence that applies to this movie. <laughs> <laughs> cavemen flying 
fighter jets it's a piece of is paper. a sentence that is applicable <laughs> when describing this movie. Yeah, ninjas riding motorcycles. What are ninjas known for? Their stealthiness, being quiet. What are motorcycles known for? Lower as fuck! (laughs) Like, why in the world would a ninja ever ride a motorcycle? It is so antithetical to the whole purpose of the, at least from the, like, modernized idea of what ninjas do. Yeah, they're quiet. They're stealthy. They're assassins. They could sneak through the night, which they do. They also do. But they just get to the place they're going on loud ass fucking motorcycles. <laughs> it's like that is the worst idea ever. Uh, and then so it's a cocaine deal. It looks like, mm-hmm. of course, because it's the '80s. I love to because there's like candy. It look it's like ch- Chinese candy boxes yes. is what it looks like. <laughs> yes. And I really wish this was just like a high stakes candy trade. <laughs> they're like, this is the oh good candy from China. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta stop this confection from coming to Southern Miami. And then, uh, so we get a shuriken. Directly into somebody's neck, just, yes. which is great. Uh, we get right into it. Uh, the ninjas just start going crazy, slicing people open. Uh, killing everybody. Uh, this, much like uh, everything from high kicks all the way to... Uh, What's some other kung fu films? I guess oh that we've done yeah uh, undefeatable. Just like all those, everybody knows kung fu. Everybody knows everybody. And it, well, it's explicitly taekwondo in this movie. They say it numerous times, but yes, everybody, everybody knows, knows some form of martial arts. Yes, including a club owner. Tell me, that's it, buddy. You full of shit. You want to go out of here? Yeah. Just oh my god! I just like when we got to the club owner part, I was like, this is this is like, because remember when we talked about um, oh uh, the, uh one of the Transformers movies, uh, it was because like Michael Bay movies, oh right, right, everybody right. randomly Age, Age of Extinction. Oh yeah, Age That's of Extinction, the where they and they're in, since they're in an Asian country, yes. everybody on the street just knows Taekwondo or Kung Fu, and like a guy who getting groceries drops them and starts fucking fighting somebody, and it felt like the same thing. Where I'm like, okay, hey, hey Mike, you sure you wanna you sure you wanna go this path? Yeah, yeah, no, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's great, it's great. I watched those '80s Kung Fu movies. Everybody knows Kung Fu, <laughs> and maybe it's true. I don't know. <laughs> I've never visited. Maybe everybody over there does know fucking Kung Fu or Taekwondo, but so I love to. Um, yeah, the way you're talking about with the club owner, and we'll get to that scene, but like it's a club owner and some random band members, and they all just do taekwondo at each other. <laughs> all right, fantastic. So, this opening scene is just this gang of ninjas. There's so many gangs in this movie, and I'm not sure what gangs are with who or who's what. Because there's okay, there's let's try to break this down. There's mm-hmm. the ninja gang, yes, and the, I think the leader's name might be Yoshido or something, and his brother. <laughs> Which we'll talk about, Jeff. My name is Jeff. <laughs> My name is Jeff. It's Jefe, man. Uh, Matt Carpenter, as I call yes. him, because he fucking has the most full, glorious beard that is just like black as night. Like it is the darkest beard. His brother Jeff has his own gang, and they're kind of part of the same gang. But yeah. Jeff's gang doesn't isn't ninjas. They're just like dudes. But they also know karate or taekwondo or whatever. We'll put that in giant quotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they know karate. Um, and then there's the biker gang, who's a different gang. Yes. Like, but, but they hang out with the ninja gang, but they're just bikers. Bikers and ninjas. Yeah, and they hang out together. Then there's our band. There's the Dragon Sound. Yes. There's our main band, who is also a taekwondo gang. And then there's the competing band. And then there's band. the competing band, who is not affiliated with any of these other groups, but kind of works with Jeff's gang because they're fighting against Dragon Sound. And I was... It's so, I'm like, what, this is, this is fucking like, uh, this is like Game of Thrones houses. Like, there's just like that many different factions all warring with each other and like the weird alliances. It's very strange. But then, uh, so that, so they get the, the drugs or whatever, and then it cuts to the opening credits, which is a a great opening credit song. And I, I, I don't know why, uh, uh. Escape Miami wasn't the name of the movie.
It's a better name than Miami Connection, and that's the name of the song playing during the credits. I'm not. I'm just not sure why they wouldn't call it Escape from Miami. It's a pretty great song. Violence the motto, no fear of death. All the lyrics in all of the songs are okay. so great. The th- thing about all the songs, every single one of them has to deal about what, what is, is going on yes. at the moment. It's like a musical in that regard. I mean, when like, they're on, when they're on the motorcycles at the beginning, yeah, the yeah. main ninja dude, yeah. it literally says, "Ninjas by night, <laughs> bikers by day." <laughs> It's it's like a musical. It's so great. That's why that's what I mean when I say it's so sincere. It's like a it's it's almost like a musical where they the songs are about what's going on or what's going to happen very shortly in the like near future. The ninja. Yeah, like against the ninja. That happens before they ever fight ninjas. But they're already talking about we're gonna kick some ninja ass here in a few minutes. Um, and so I, during the opening credits, the one guy, the the one uh, the the uh, the leader of the ninjas guy, mm-hmm. can like make a fireball. But we never see that again. He like I, maybe I don't know what that's supposed to be. He like does a thing and a fireball shoots out, and then he karate chops yeah, fire bricks. Yeah, should should it can. Yeah, <laughs> not sure. Uh, should it can. Oh yeah 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 yeah. The uppercut, right? Um, you got to be the kin one because the kin one is red fire or fire, yeah. Because yeah. the uh, Kamehameha or whatever is, no, is Hadouken. Right? Hadouken. <laughs> what is Kamehameha? Goku. Oh, I fucking don't watch Dre. I don't. I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, so then after the opening credits, we cut to Orlando, and then now we're in Orlando. Wait, hang on. I gotta stop you for oh, a second because we do need to talk about the. Uh, the main ninja dude. So yeah. they got they got the drugs. Whenever the ninjas, oh yeah, yeah they yeah. got the drugs. Yeah, and they went to the hideout, hideout the or ninja whatever hideout. it is, the the facility, yeah. the ninja training ground. Yeah, basically. And the main ninja dude came in, took off his yeah. hood, and basically just berated the shit out of everybody for, for forgetting getting the, money. the money. Where's the money? Where's the money? Yeah. So they took both things. Yes. And he goes, money is the most important. I'm like, but... We got the most important thing. The money! Drugs basically are money. You can just yeah. sell those. I mean, well, I guess... That's get, what Jeff's were. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, I guess I get that, like, they, why didn't they get the money? But I, it's very interesting. He's like, money, the most important thing. And I'm like, all right. And then this scene ends. <laughs> like, and then he's just on a motorcycle with a yeah, scarf. Yeah, with a scarf! <laughs> Oh, okay. So why does he wear that scarf? Did they think that was like badass looking? He looks ridiculous. He's like he's like riding a motorcycle, like, and it's like t- there's one of the lyrics all, during. I don't know if it's the opening credits or I think it's later during the biker part. They're driving, and it's like tough guys yeah, on a motorcycle, it's and it's like his scarf is just billowing in the wind. And I'm a tough guy. And I'm like, yeah. Oh all right. God. We gotta get we gotta get to the introduction of Dragon Sun. Yeah. We have a special treat for you today. We have a new house band with a new dimension in rock and roll. We have the one, the only Dragon Sound. Uh, the one, the only Dragon Sound. Yes. They get introduced at their club uh, in Orlando where they're playing because that's where they go to school, and they're all playing music. Their their outfit for the band is geese, like uh, karate. You know, pants. It's, except and like, for Tom, who's yeah. completely shirtless. He's shirtless. Yeah, some of them. Yeah, some of them are shirtless, but they all have like karate pants on, and some of them have geese on. Yeah. And then later they have the Dragon Sound shirts. But yeah, and then so they start. This is where they play uh, "Friends Forever," which is again okay, uh, a fantastic I, song. I, I I couldn't get their names initially down, so I just kind of referred to them. Uh, oh, I have. Yeah, I don't know any yeah. of their names. Uh, so Tom, I refer to as a Hall and Oates. Or John Oates. Oh, I see. I called him. I Mustache called him Freddie Mercury, a... but oh, <laughs> close enough. Well, I, I, think, um, I think Oates is better. Our, our, our main, not uh, not YK, YK Kim, the tall guy, the, the tall guy. guy. I called him David Schwimmer. Oh no, he's Michael Phelps. Oh, <laughs> <damn it. laughs> he was Michael Phelps for me. The mother tall, lanky motherfucker looks like Michael Phelps. Yeah. He also looks a little bit like David Schwimmer. I'll give yeah. you that. Uh, with with, uh, with Jim, I I, I could. Only I just call him Jim. I just I can only refer to him as Jerry Curls. <laughs> Oh, I, he was just Jim because his name. The hilarious thing, his name is Jim Brown, who is a famous football player at the, like around that time. I think like he's in the Hall of Fame. There is what's his name? And then Jack, the other who, guy, the like, drummer. 
the, or, the, the mono brow. Yeah, the <laughs> drummer. He was just the drummer. The t- he he's the worst actor too. Holy shit, he has some lines yep. later on when yep. they're having discussions where it's like, I don't want us to drop out. I just don't want anything to happen to us. Real painful. <laughs> it's real rough. And then there's YK Kim, who is the uh, yeah. He's just YK. He's Kim. like forty. Oh, I know. With these college students, and he goes to the college with them. I'm like, I guess he's a non trad student. But yeah, he is because I looked it up. He was forty when this was filmed. He was like forty one or you know near forty oh, when this boy. was filmed. And they're all like college kids, and they're just hanging out and living together. I'm like, this is a weird scenario we have going yeah. on and here. And then uh, what was the girl's name? Uh, Jeff's sister. I don't, Jeff's sister. I, I don't remember. Her uh, it's it's basically because uh, she looks like what's her name. I, I don't want to say they by com- the bell. I guess I don't want to say they completely stole this, but they kind of did because it's Scar uh, Scarface. Oh, the yeah. actual Scarface movie, yeah. not our <laughs> not, not, not our Scarface. Because uh, uh, Jeff is basically Tony Montana. Right. I've, again, I've sister. never seen Scarface. It's just, just you know uh, he's not he's not in the uh, the. <laughs> David, David Schwimmer slash Michael Phelps is not in the gang and he doesn't shoot him at the end. Yeah. Friends for eternity, loyalty, honesty. It's just like... The lyrics are so fantastic and I love this. While this song was going on and they're all playing this and, and again... Uh, the girl in the band at this point, she's just dancing yes, on stage. Yes, and they say they don't she, know what she does. Yeah, and they say right after the scene, Jeff is like, she's in the, how is she in, the, why is she in the band? Like, he's super mad that she joined their band. I'm like, that's your sister, Jane? She's working here? She's not supposed to be here. I don't, I don't know what she's doing here. She, She's not. She's just on stage dancing. Like, that's not in the yes. band. Now, eventually, she does sing a song. She sings um, against the ninja, but... Um, I do gotta say... Uh, okay, so this is super, super 80s with Jeff. He has, like, the cut-off shirt with, like, the sleeves are cut yeah. off. And then the earring. The earring. The feather earring. <laughs> feather or, like, a tooth or whatever yeah, it yeah. is. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's great. I love, too. So while they were playing Friends Forever, I'm like, this is, like, a little kid's song. Is yes. what I said. Like, I'm like, this is, like, oh, a kid's God. TV. I know. I said that. I wrote that down. <laughs> Literally, I noticed. I was like, this is, like, a little kid's song, but, like, generic 80s rock. It's, like, Jim and the Hologram, but dudes. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen Jim and the Holograms. But, it, and. Are and they then, outrageous? They're truly, truly outrageous. <laughs> so, so then I love because I was like, "This is like little kids' yeah, music." Yeah. And then the fucking next scene where the band guy, the other band, the, comes the, in. The uh, the uh, the rival band yeah. leader. Yeah. What is his favorite word? What is his favorite favorite phrase throughout this entire film? What are you in here for, man? Waste my time. No. You son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> son of a bitch. He says it like every time he's on yeah, camera. He just, you son of. A- don't you give me a point, time, you son of a bitch! And I love he, he. My favorite thing is he comes in and he's like, "How dare you? Why, how you kicked us out and you hire this kid band shit?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, you fired me one because of the goddamn dragon sound. That's bullshit." They came in here to play goddamn songs for kids. Yeah, wait. Uh, so people in universe understand that this is like little kids music? Yes. And they totally do. And, and then they get into a fight with uh, Discount John Ritter. Yeah. Now who you bullshit? They play a lot better than you, man. You're they play music for old people. Music. You mean- <laughs> Uh, and also, I love during every musical piece, YK Kim plays guitar, but he very clearly has no, no idea how to play guitar. Like the other guy, the the Hall and Oates guy, kind of looks like he at least can fake it. And maybe here's, he here's can actually play here's, guitar, I don't know. I, I guarantee you he can. Because he and uh, the girl wrote and oh, uh, did they? Yeah, they actually wrote oh, the songs. And stuff. Okay, so, so he, yeah, because he looked like he could, like at least, like I said, it looked like he could I, kind I, of I, I, play I, guitar. It's like his last name. His name is like Angelo uh, uh, Jatone. Jatone, the most like Italian that. name yeah, possible. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I saw a great picture when I was looking up the actors of all of them like a couple years ago in their oh, Dragon no. Sound oh, shirts. Oh, no. Like, they, they, they were at like a showing of the movie, you know, like a midnight yeah. showing of the movie, and they were all there. It's great. Michael Phelps' motherfucker is still like nine feet tall and towers over everybody. YK Kim looks the exact same. <laughs> He's like 20 years older or 30 years older, but he looks the exact same. It's 
So we go to college. We go to college. So Jane is in college. Well, they're all in college. Jane, that was it. That was her. Yeah, I finally found it in my notes. So Jane uh, is in college. She's in a computer class. She's doing like coding. Yeah. Okay, my it's it's amazing. Okay, she's doing coding, and the professor is bragging about how great his his uh, class did. You know, yeah. like finished. Yeah, they went to like a competition. But then he went over to Jane and said, "That's a good job. Nice circle." Yeah. <laughs> the 80s Kyle that was complicated shit back then <laughs> making a circle on your computer was not easy <laughs> I don't yeah I, again I feel like they were like just say something about the computer stuff and he's like I, I don't know anything about this and they're like just make it up he's like nice circle <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I have no idea what to say so then she, her and uh, Michael Phelps uh, slash Michael Swimmer, sh- Michael Swimmer. <laughs> there we go. It's like Phelps and s- <laughs> Michael Swimmer. They, they're, they're hanging out and they're talking and you, ca- their, their dialogue is, it's ADR and you cannot hear a word they're saying nope. because the background walking sounds of everybody yes. around them is louder than what they're and saying. They, they, they- Clearly filmed on campus yeah. for one day. Yeah, one because day. Because all, all the background this. characters, yeah. the exact same. Yeah. yeah. When I was young, my dad took off to some young girl and left my mom. And, and then, so they're talking. There, there's one particular woman who has like this like red and black uh, stuff on. Uh-huh. And you see her, you see her show up later, like one or two other times. And you're like, is this? Is this everybody who was here? Like they're like, go around again, <laughs> walk around through the background again. Um, so they're talking. She's explaining that she doesn't like her brother, but she says, "I can't really explain, but I don't like him." Except for one thing, I don't really like him. What? You don't like your own brother? Why? Well, I can't really explain it. I just don't like him. But then, literally, like the next sentence, she goes. He's in with a shady group of guys and he's got anger issues. I'm like, but before you meet my brother, I need to warn you. He's involved with a group of really shady characters. He's extremely jealous. You just explained why you don't like him. And, 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 and uh, uh, he may be a bad guy. Don't bite the hand that feeds. <laughs> he he's is putting paying for your college and putting you well, through a door. And that's what she's doing. She, tr- you know, she is, she, she, had, she does like try to get along with them because he is. And that's what she says. Like, basically she's like, he's paying for my college. I can't like cut him out of my life. Cause mm-hmm. <laughs> it's how I'm getting to go to college. But yeah, he's, he's works. He's a, he's into drugs. He's, he's a drug trafficker or whatever, basically. And a karate expert. <laughs> and he, he, he shows up on campus in Camo. Oh, and you know he's a bad guy because he parks over two handicap yeah. spots. <laughs> Classic bad guy stuff. <laughs> oh man, I gotta park over both handicap spots. <laughs> yeah, I'm so cool. So cool, man. I'm so evil. Uh. Jeff, this is my friend John. Well, Jeff, I heard a lot of good things about you. Where'd you find this son of a bitch? He shows up uh, with his gang it just and punches out Michael Schwimmer. Yeah, yeah, I love. I love my favorite thing is <laughs> he goes. Uh, He's a friend of mine from school. A friend? A friend! <laughs> and then he just punches him. And then YK <clears throat> Kim sprints over and it's like, how fucking dare you punch oh, Michael God. Swimmer? And this is where the first time YK Kim has spoken. Yeah. And there, there, was he 80 yard? Whatever you say. Just remember what I said if you don't want to get hurt. You don't scare me at all. Jane, I want to talk at to you all. later. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Well, I think most of this was ADR after the fact. Yeah. And his is really bad. YK Kim's, like, doesn't match, and it's yeah. hard to understand. <laughs> but um, I'll put it this way. I did not expect that voice to come out of him initially, and it kind of threw me I, off. I think it. it's him. Yeah, I, it I, think, seems I, like I it's absolutely him. think it's him. Yeah. It's just, it, it's, it, his voice, I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say. You don't scare me at all. At all! <laughs> you don't scare me at all. Jane, I want to talk at to you all. later. Goodbye. Jeff has a conversation with, I think, Yoshido maybe, and says, we need to get rid of Dragon Sound. Anyway, we need to get rid of that band so you can control that area. Don't worry, I already had that plan. So we can control the area they're in. And I'm like, Okay. What, what is at this point? They are not, not in the same thing. Well, at this point, we it's like we're they're a band. Yeah. 
we don't even know that they do like they they're not haven't been established to us as like a crime fighting band yet as far as we know they're just a band <laughs> and they're like we got to get that fucking band out not, of here so we can sell they, drugs maybe maybe they're a drug selling band. Yeah. <laughs> that's true maybe they are but they're not we know they're not because they're too good for that they're friends forever and loyalty and honesty and <laughs> all that good stuff <laughs> Uh, and then we watch them eat dinner because we got to set, set up the yeah. restaurant. It's, it's not really important, but yeah. there's that guy who's His Mickey Mouse apron. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're, and, they're in Orlando. It makes sense. Yeah. And then this is against the ninja. We cut back to the club for against the ninja. Against the ninja. And my favorite part about this, it's so realistic, but also so, so infuriating. The song starts and everybody in the club is c- clapping along with the beat, but they can, they're not remotely on beat. It is, so, and now it's super realistic because people can't clap on beat for shit. But as a drummer, I was like pulling my fucking hair out as they're like, yeah, against the ninja. <laughs> now, now, here's the thing as a drummer, what did you think of uh, Jack's handiwork? Oh, as he's a drummer. He's not a drummer. He's <laughs> okay. just there. I mean, it, it looked, f- f- they don't show him very often. And I don't, he didn't look as bad as YK Kim trying to play guitar. And that's me not being a guitar player. I could tell that, holy shit, he's faking it like mm-hmm. not not well at all and then this is where they we will stop the senseless killing oh, we will God. end this evil war thank you <laughs> thank you movie against the ninja uh, and then they they scream taekwon taekwon And then Taekwondo. That's what they were saying? Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't understand I only it. noticed it the second time through because at one point they yell, Taekwondo! And I'm like, oh, that was the other part where they're going, da da, they must be yelling Taekwondo. Taekwondo! And then they're, so they're leaving the club and they, this is where they roll up to, I, I'm pretty sure this is where they roll up on the street and there's like that entire okay. band, right? Yes. I think. Yeah. And by the way, I'm not, I, here's the thing. I love that shot. Yeah, like that that, cool. that sequence. Yeah, all the way up until they start fighting. Until they start fighting, yeah, <laughs> is is great. Yeah, there's some good stuff in this movie. Hey, you, I lost my job. I got my ass kicked. You remember that hot shot? Now I'm gonna tell you what. You get your ass and get this car out of this goddamn town. Uh, so they hop out of their car and start running, and they fight like a hundred dudes. Their, their vehicle took a beating throughout this entire yeah, movie. Yeah, guy beating on it with a chain, <laughs> beating on the hood. I, I, I This is where I realized as this scene was happening, because I didn't realize at first what this was. And I'm like, oh, this is that band from earlier. This whole dispute, this whole fight is about a band getting a job instead yes. of another and band. Somehow, somehow this guy rounded up like 50 people. I was I was about to say, this band, the, 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 bad, the bad band, has like a super ride or die crew of like fucking uh, fans that are like, yeah, we'll go murder that other band with you. How dare they take your spot at the club? All, all the roadies. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking amazing. And so they kind of fight like all of these guys, but they also like run away while they're fighting them. Uh, um, mm-hmm. uh, YK Kim has some great uh, sound effects when he's kicking people or it's like. <laughs> oh, it makes like a tiger roar at one point. He does like a jump kick. And like he a kicks jump. two of them. Yeah. Right? And it yeah. goes like. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> and we, we get we get the picture here. Only two people can. Fight. Really fight. Yeah, it's Michael Phelps <laughs> and, and YK Kim. Yes. The other guys have a little bit here and there. Mm. And tell me this. This is what I think it is. I think all these people, I, I, I could be wrong. I have no idea. To me, it felt like a, a lot of the actors in this movie were like students of YK Kim's like I think type. Yes, I think. Th- right? That's what it felt like to me is like, because none of them can act. Love to help you write that song, John, but there's no way I'm going to break any boards in that club. But they can all kind of do some karate or taekwondo. So I'm like, they're probably just his students. And he's like, I'm making a movie. You guys should come be my crew or whatever. Yeah. I, it's what it felt like. And yeah, his prize student, Michael Phelps, is the one who gets all the other fight scenes. What are your, what are your qualifications? I'm 
like seven foot tall. I'm tall as shit, man. <laughs> yeah, I got a good physique. <laughs> all right, and then it hard cuts like they're fighting, and then I, I guess they beat them all up because then it's just hard cuts and they're driving home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then it's uh, it's the next morning or that night, and this is one of the best scenes okay. of all time. The fact that this is one continuous take is so glorious. It, it, it tells you two things: one, you're only gonna get one out of this, yeah. out of out of Jim here, and the second thing is. The pull focus had to have been on point. Yeah. Because they are only getting this they once. They only get one shot. Uh, it, it, it's the, the the gradual, like, remove everything was kind of great. But so so letter a letter came yeah, a letter in for Jim. For Jim. Um, it is from the defense department. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm taking a shower first. Go for it, Jim. Hey, Jim. I got a letter for you. A letter? It's from Washington, D.C. Hey, give it to me. What's the story? So he reads it, and, and they basically say... Sorry, we couldn't find your dad. Yeah, because we find out at this moment that he's been looking for his dad. But this looks like your brother. I didn't know you have a brother. It's my father. What? This is your real father? Yes, it is. Are you sure? Yes. Because his mother was Korean, and his dad... <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta do it like, you gotta do it like Jim. My mother, my mother was Korean. Was Korean. <laughs> and my, my father <laughs> was a military. Was black American. <laughs> My mother was Korean, and my father was Black American. Black American. <laughs> oh, uh, and he he's just, he's going for it. I'll give Jim this. The motherfucker goes for it in this mm -hmm. scene. She gave me this picture when she was real sick. I was only nine years old. It's not great, but he fucking goes for it, and he's, it looks like he's actually crying, or they sprayed, spritzed some water on him. And I love, too, he's doing this whole thing with his pants unzipped and unpacked. Oh, God, it's so awkward. <laughs> he does it two times I know, he does movie. it twice. He does it once, where he's like, I'm gonna go take a shower. Okay, yeah, okay, all right. Another time when he's in the middle, of, it's in the morning, he and he's like, oh, street. yeah. <laughs> hey, neighbors, how you doing? <laughs> He's always going to go take a shower. But he says, uh, they, they they look at this photo and they think it's his brother. And it's his dad. Yeah, it's his dad. And then everybody's like, I thought you were an orphan we like, like us. An orphan. <laughs> I didn't know you had a father. I thought we are all orphans. We thought you were an orphan. We That's were, why we were all orphans. <laughs> You're out of the group. You're out of the band. This is orphan sound. Get out of here. <laughs> Great with their name. They were orphan sound. <laughs> Unless you're Taekwondo Batman, get out of here. <laughs> Taekwondo Batman. Fuck Batman. Uh, and then they're cruising down the beach. We cut to them cruising down the beach to the Friends Forever song, Pervin on Chicks. And I love there's some great lines where the guy's like, <laughs> the guy's like, check it out. Buns like those down at the bakery. There's so there's like shots of like butts and hot chicks and boobs and they're like, woo, yeah, it's the beach. And then it randomly cuts back and forth between our guys being like, nice, she's so hot. But back to our guys. <laughs> Little kids. Cuts to little kids like showering, and I'm like, what? Little kids don't belong in like your sexy beach montage, you fucking weirdos. <laughs> they don't belong there. What are you doing? Make it with Rockstar. Hey, baby. I'm Chris Hansen. And then we cut to the gym, the bad gym. And I, there's, there's, I don't know if you saw this woman. There's this one woman who's, we never see. Oh, She's a yeah. fucking unit who is working out in the gym. She's like doing yeah, chest built presses. like crazy. She's fucking huge. I was like, what? I, I was so hoping we were going to see her like murder somebody at some point. Like you can't show this beast of a woman like doing like fucking uh, working out in the gym and then not have her like pick up somebody and snap them in half at some point in your movie. What are you doing? But this is where our rival band comes in. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and they're talking and to that, Jeff. This, this is, is where they the meet up worst with negotiation game. ever. Yeah. Hey, we need to stop dragging sound. They kicked our ass. Yeah. Why should we care? I'll give you all the money I make. To get my job back for me. Any money I make is yours. All and of I'll, it. And I'll join you. He your says, band. he goes, he says, um, this is the worst thing. He goes, well, one, he tells them they're all black belts in Taekwondo and they're pretty bad. It's just one thing you got to know. They're all black belts in Taekwondo and they're pretty bad. <laughs> and, but <laughs> he means bad in like the Michael Jackson bad. Um, he says, literally, like you said, any money I make is yours. The band says this to Jeff. Yes. Any money, like help us beat up this band. Any money we make is yours. I'm like. That's a terrible deal. Yeah. Any money you Very make? Poor, not like poor negotiation. Not like twenty percent or like thirty. Any money we make. <laughs> and then, and then, Jesse, immediate next line. Got to do something about that damn dragon sound. It's a damn band again. I love too the the one. There's the one uh, Chris Farley looking dude in the bat in Jeff's gang who's just always oh. shirtless with like his big old belly hanging out. <laughs> And the glasses, right? Yeah, 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 that guy. Uh, who at the end gets his chest caved in by YK Kim when they fight at the, like, the final fight scene. It's pretty glorious. So then we cut to the training with YK Kim and his students. And this oh, is so God. dumb. It's, it's, you gotta shoot, when you're shooting an act, like a, like a, a martial arts fight scene, and they do this occasionally, you need more angles. Because what, what makes it look good, if you're not, unless you're really fucking good, unless you're Jackie fucking Chan. If you do one take, it looks very choreographed and very slow and very shitty. Like, so what you do to fix that is you have multiple angles and you cut so that you can't see how choreographed it looks. Brian is an expert fight choreographer. I'm not, but I know the I know the vague idea of how you shoot an action scene like that is yeah, you want multiple angles and you want some handheld so that you know there's more movement to it, it's more kinetic. But they just show these like and again this is training, but like it's just the most slow-mo like punch coming and then he's like wrist control. <laughs> But it does set up for the end of the movie. Yeah. Oh, you're right. They set up. So there's one moment where YK Kim is, has his back away from <laughs> Michael Phelps. And Michael Phelps slowly stabs at him. And then he... T does a thing. He yeah. turns around and grabs it and stabs Michael Phelps in the stomach. Way to um, go. And that's important. We gotta remember okay. that for later. Also, also pinching your student's nose with, with your, your toes. toes? twice in this movie. I know. It happens during a concert. A way of life. It makes dragon sound stick together to be strong and gentle. <laughs> How awkward would that be? You're in the you're in the crowd and they're like playing friends forever and then one of them just grabs another guy with his toe and fucking like his nose and spins him. I'm like, I'd be like, what? What is this band we're watching? <laughs> what is happening? Uh, and then we cut some, we get some great Pepsi product placement. They are oh, sipping yep. their delicious yep. Pepsi products. We also had the Coca-Cola product placement. And Coors Light at some point. Coors Light. <laughs> If product placements all over. I'm not sure if it was product placements all over the place in this movie or just. Uh, I mean, there's product placement. Obviously. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know I, if it's like I actually. The, I think the Coca-Cola one might have just been a guy who had a Coca-Cola yeah, sweater. Yeah, yeah. The Pepsi one felt like maybe the they Coors got Light some was money. absolutely. Yo, the Coors Light one. He is straight up just like, I'm drinking some delicious Coors Light. <laughs> Like it's it's like it's, so to the it's camera. Just, it's just like a uh, rock and roll night. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like oh man, forgot my coke. <laughs> turn it to the camera.
Oh, this is where they have their discussion. They're going to work board breaking into their concert. So, Mark, how do you feel about putting some board breaking into the act? Sure. Why not? We could write another Taekwondo song. And after Tom does one of his guitar solos, we could all break boards. Because of course they are. <laughs> and then... Some of the worst board breaking. Oh, it's ever. bad. But also, I love, this is where the, the drummer gets a lot of dialogue. Oh, and where no. He's he proposes his world tour. Oh, no. What do you think about a tour? What kind of tour? It would be a world tour. But what would make it special is that we play in each other's countries. So they're like, he's like, I don't want to get hurt by playing at that club anymore. So here's what we're going to do. That guy can't get a single line out. No, he can't. He literally, his line is like, he's like, he's talking about the bad guy, the bad band member. He's like, he's in there every night with his dang gang. Yeah, because of Jeff too. He's in there every night. His damn gang. Selling the stupid cocaine. <laughs> like, it's like, it's just so just chopped up and like remembering the lines as he goes. You know, like finding our roots. You mean we're gonna play in Ireland? Right. While we're in Europe, we'd visit Italy, you know, Tom's home country. And he goes, we're gonna, we should go on a world tour where we travel to all of our home, where all of our parents are from. All the members of Dragon Sound. So we got to go to Korea, where uh, Jim's mom and, was from, and his and and, uh, and Mark, because like YK Kim is Mark. Oh yeah, 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 so yeah. Because yeah, and Mark, them, I guess. yeah, yeah, for Korea, and then we're gonna go to somewhere in like England, Ireland, or Ireland, uh, Italy. or Scott. Yeah, and then and then uh, um, and then uh, Israel. We visit all the countries where our parents came from: Korea, Ireland. We play in Israel. That's where my parents are from. Oh, he's like, my parents are from Israel. And so they, he's like, and we'll go to all those places and play a concert and reconnect with our roots. And we'll go, we'll, when we're there, we'll visit the local Taekwondo dojos and spread the message of peace and love around the world. And right. Wherever we go, we visit the local Taekwondo schools. We promote peace and goodwill. <laughs> what a weird idea for, all right, cool. Also, how are you going to pay for any of this? It is not cheap to fly a whole band around the world. You guys aren't that popular. You play one nightclub in Orlando. Like They probably met up with the uh, final deviation people. Fatal deviation. Fatal, fatal as a fatal deviation. I, that would be a crossover I would love to see if Dragon Sound just showed up in that fucking uh, sequel, Fatal Deviation with uh, with Miami Connection, Fatal Connection. Usually, <laughs> <It's just, laughs> it's already a movie. Yeah, Fatal, Fatal Connection. Connection has to be. All right, Miami Deviation, whatever. That's definitely not a movie. <laughs> Um, the entire movie is a layover in Miami. <laughs> they were deviated. There. They're flying from Ireland to somewhere and they get, re they get reconnected through Miami and they're just stuck in the airport. And then the band shows up and Dragon Sound is playing a concert in the airport. And then the, the, my, the, uh, the fatal deviation guys help Dragon Sound beat up the enemy. That is a fucking sequel I could get behind. That would be amazing. <laughs> Oh, that would be incredible. Um, so let me cut real quick. I just got to talk about this for a second. The scene where the some random like hooligans are at the restaurant that they eat at and they don't pay. They just walk out. My favorite thing is I was not expecting when they all stand up from the table. All of their shorts are so short. Yes. The, the, can, the, 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 the dude main the guy. You Holy can see crap. his penis. <laughs> you can see all of his penis. All of it. It is. It is just. It's, it's, like it 80, is. it's like those '80s like athletic shorts. Oh, and, and they are painted on. Like you can see the entire outline of his dick. It is. I was like, oh, I was not prepared for that. I was. I was ill prepared. Oh, and then. Uh, oh, so then this is where they 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 play another concert, and this is where the nose grab. But then they go. It, it's like two seconds, and then they go out and they find the note on their car, the yes. origami note yes. that is like, meet us at the train tracks for a throwdown or <laughs> whatever. I don't. It's basically Jeff and the other band. We never know the band's name, the bad band's name. I wish we knew Who their cares? name. It would make it easier to talk about. But the bad band uh, and Jeff, and they all, they're all at the train tracks and our guys are like, all right, I guess we can just go fight them and get this over with. I, I, yep. I, is their, their plan. 
And I love when it cuts. Jim and uh, Jim and Tom are too busy to be bothered with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they 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 don't show up. Uh, it's YK Kim, Michael Phelps, and I think the Hall and Oates guy, maybe. No, or, no, no, it's a Jack, the drummer dude, the drummer guy. Okay, and so I, I it cuts to the train tracks the next day, and uh, there's a woman sitting on the car uh, behind Jeff, snapping, and there's no music playing, but it's she's like. And there's just no music. Oh my like, god! Is this, that's what is going right, on? That's right out of a Michael Jackson video. Yeah, yeah. I was like, is that what she's doing? Is she doing like the I'm bad thing, or is it like supposed to be music? Or like, was there music in the scene playing from the car, and they didn't capture it, and then they forgot to put music well, you in? Know, rights and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that makes the most sense to me. But I just love that. And this is how you know Dragon Sound means business. They have leather fingerless gloves on. Oh, God, on. yes. Everybody. Everybody does. And, okay, so they're driving to this. Michael, Michael Schwimmer. Michael Swimmer. <laughs> and uh, the drummer dude are both wearing polos. Yes. <laughs> that's that's ass-kicking garb, right? Polo shirts? They're wearing polos and blue jeans. <laughs> Wearing polo blue jeans with fingerless gloves. They look, they look like they're going for a weekend golf retreat. <laughs> they got just, uh, sidetracked by a fight. Yeah, they got sidetracked. I got to beat up this gang real quick. <laughs> um, and there's when they get there. I'm like, they're all a dragon challenge shows up in their car and they're all mm -hmm. the bad guys just get out of the car. And I'm like, just run them over. <laughs> just fucking run them over. Why do why are you even messing around with this? I know that's not like honorable or whatever, but just fucking run well, them over. That goes out the window real quick at the end. Oh yeah. Well those are ninjas. Those are different. <laughs> they, they, that can be and they can kill them as much they as they want. Jeff. Yeah, but they don't Spoiler. do that on purpose. That's an accident. He just trips and falls off a fucking balcony. <laughs> The, 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 the cops. cops. The cop exchange at the end. So the cops roll up after this whole fight mm. takes place. And I love, I was like, what What was that conversation? They literally, the, the cops show up and they get there and these two cops get out and they're talking to each other. Did you see anything? No. All right, let's go back. Yeah, they know. He goes, Where did everybody go? I don't know. Looks like another gang. And then the other cop goes, uh, We need to get these gangs out of Central Florida anyway. And the other cop goes, That's true. That's true. Let's get out of here. And then they put their guns away and leave. And I'm like, what? What was, what? And by the way, <laughs> by the way, horrible police protocol where they have their guns out and they're like almost pointing them at each other. <laughs> There's a great out of focus scene where they talk about writing a new song. <laughs> I'm working up a new original here. I just got done with this keyboard part. What do you think? Oh, it looks pretty good. I think Jim will like it too. Yeah, I think Jim will. You should be able to handle it. Mm. Next time rehearsal, we'll see what he thinks. They just found a motorcycle, like the local motorcycle group or gang or whatever. Yeah. And like, we're going to have a party with a bunch of beer and we're going to film you. And maybe hopefully some of the girls will take their boobs out. Like, that's what the scene is. Yeah, that's what I was waiting. It's, it's, it's an indies 80s film. So I was like, where are the boobs at? Yeah. And th there's one. This is the only scene. And it's literally just like. I said, I think it was just a bike gang, like, meet up, and they're like, a couple of the chicks got topless, and they're like, A plus, we're putting it in our movie. <laughs> um, and this is where they talk about how they need to get rid of, uh, again, they talk about we got to get rid of Dragon Sound. Jeff and uh, Yush Yushido, maybe is his name? I don't know. That Jeff's brother, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the, the main ninja guy. Did you get rid of that group, Dragon Sound? Not yet. They're pretty tough, especially that Korean guy, Mark. He's a black belt in Taekwondo. The thing that was weird to me is that they're like, oh, these, this Dragon Sound's such a problem. But Dragon Sound that we have seen in this movie has never proactively gone after the gang or tried yeah. to stop any drug deals or any. They've never gone to, like, stop any. Thing. I, I would love to see them see a drug deal going down and they just look at it and they're like, oh, okay. And then they just leave. <laughs> yeah, but, and that, because that would, we've never seen them actively go after to stop this these these gangs from doing anything. The only problem that these gangs have is when they come and try to fight Dragon Sound for no reason. Like they show up and they're like, hey, you're a band and we're going to kill you. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And then, All but, right. And then, but they're like, we got to get rid of this Dragon Sound. I'm like, why? They weren't messing with you. I mean, maybe they were and we just didn't see it, but we never, they never established that they were doing anything. <laughs> Come on, big boy. Right here. 
Oh, YK Kim's bed is it has a U-Haul blanket on it. Oh yes, what, what the hell was that about? <laughs> I was like, is that, I was like, is that a moving blanket? Like, you know, like you used to like cover furniture? I think it was. And then he's just like, I'm gonna sleep on that. <laughs> I was like, that's sad. Just get a real blanket, YK Kim. Um, and then there's a great scene. They wake up the next morning, and YK Kim hand feeds yes. grapes. What was that to about? the entire man! Um, see, I have some letters here. Letters. We're, do we're doing insurance. <laughs> that was insane. He's just like, he's going around like, huh, huh. Shoving grapes in their mouth, and they're all like a little uncomfortable with it. They're like, ha, ha, why are you, ha, all right. Some letters here. Letters. Go to the shop. And garbage, garbage. <laughs> like it's and, and okay, so this scene this scene is beautiful because like it's wildly overexposed because nobody put a filler over yeah. the freaking window. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and this is a uh, Hollow Notes time to shine with his comedy. Yeah. Lose 30 pounds in 30 days. I've been meaning to tell you about that. Oh, and then so they're at college the next day and they're all wearing their UCF shirts. And then this is when uh, uh, Hall and Oates gets grabbed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he gets so they kidnapped. Go, they go to a different restaurant besides the uh, one dude. Yeah. So Hall and Oates is parking and they just immediately like punch him and throw him into throw a him trunk. Into trunk. And then he's gone. And then the next scene, without any other setup, Jane is looking for him. We and cut to the club and then she's there, or the, the gym, where they took him to the gym. And, okay, and this is the scene that it looks like it's straight out of Scarface because he's like in a He's in a suit. Oh, Jeff where she in goes into like his office. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's he has like everything's marble and yeah. shit. He's probably snorting cocaine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, she walks up to him and because she's looking for uh, whatever his name is. Um, Do you guys seen Tom anywhere? Yeah, I ain't seen nobody since 1962. Come on, you guys, where's Tom? Yeah, and she goes and and she's talking to those three clowns who are again. You can tell so many times in this movie where the director or whoever was just like, just say some funny shit. Just do something funny, and they're like, "We're Oh man, look at me! Hey man, we're talking, we're talking, talking, words. talking, 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 talking. Funny, same words. Ah, look words. at us. We're literally just like yes. it's. That's all. They're just not. It's like nonsense. They're just like uh, just say some stuff, and they just couldn't come up with anything. So it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They tied uh, Hall and Oates in like an electric tower out in somewhere. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't, they just drop him in a, like a closet somewhere. Oh, well, they do that first. And that's that's at the gym. And mm. it's so weird because they drop him in a closet and then she goes and looks and it seems like she went to the same place, but he's not there. And then but then it cuts and now they have him tied yeah. up in a tower. And they just know where he's at. Yeah. All right, and Dragon Sound just shows up. Mm. How did you? You how, did you even know he was missing, and now you're just here with like PVC pipes to save the day? <laughs> like, what is going on? And this is where things start turning violent. Oh, it's amazing. So they, they beat up the first couple guards and I love they pull them off, like they pull some guards off a ledge and then karate chop them once and they're like unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Dude, yeah, it's just like, God. and it's like, all right, yeah, sure, fine. Um, but then, so at this point, it looks, it, tell me if I'm wrong, is YK Kim's wielding like like a wooden sword, like one of those yeah, like yeah, training I, sword yeah. type things or something? Yeah, it's him with, and uh, Dave, My, Michael Schwimmer. Michael Schwimmer. <laughs> Are, yeah, they're wielding like like wooden swords, mm -hmm. and so they're fighting people. And there's the, the bad guys are fighting with like the world's spikiest sticks. Yeah, what are the what I, are those? I don't know. I was like, <laughs> I feel I feel like they went for like the idea of like it's a baseball bat with nails, but then they just went way over the board with the fucking nails. <laughs> it's just like nothing but nails. Um, and, like every every single one of them was like, is that? Are they fighting with like a hat rack or something? Yeah, I, I is so strange. And so they're they're fighting everybody. And at one point, YK Kim splits a motherfucking dude's jugular. Yes, open. and he just starts pouring blood. Dead. That guy is dead. That guy's a hundred percent. I mean, he's they're out in the middle of nowhere at, in the middle of the night, and that guy gets his yeah, like his jugular split open. That guy's dead. There's not you're not gonna save him. So YK Kim just kills that guy. But also, I was like. Did that wooden stick 
Split open, because that's he hits him with the stick. And it splits his neck open. He had a splinter. <laughs> I was so confused. Um, and then he fights uh, He fights the big guy, the Chris Farley motherfucker, who just mm -hmm. does the classic, like, I'm a big fat guy fighting moves where he throws heavy things at him and then squeezes him. <laughs> I was like, those are the classic, like, two things you do when you're a big guy. And then he crushes that dude's chest with a cinder block or something. Like, it's pretty great. <laughs> Then we're down to just yeah. Jeff and Mark. Jeff and Mark. Uh, and they climb up to the top of the tower. And Mark is YK Kim's character. Just in case, I think we mentioned that. but um, And, and he, he's like, he's like just waving the stick at him. And, and Jeff's like, whoa, uh, uh, uh. And then stumbles backwards and falls uh, two stories off of a... And his head just like explodes. explodes. <laughs> It fucking explodes and there's grape jelly everywhere. And they're like, well, shit, we just killed Jane's brother. <laughs> Shucks. I guess he's not gonna be able to get through college now. <laughs> um, or maybe he doesn't get life insurance or something. I don't know. Um, like, who... Sorry, who's gonna who's gonna provide that? I mean, maybe like a prior. You're not gonna get that through. Yeah, yeah. There's so much life insurance policy through drug dealing. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe like maybe it's like a classic thing where they like make sure like whoever his gang members like make sure he's taken care of. Like make sure his family's taken. What, care What is of. there like a drug organization union? Yeah, this is a union members. <laughs> It makes sense. It's Miami. If anywhere has a unions for drug dealers, it's probably Miami. Clarify in the eighties, Mi yes, Miami in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, we got a big problem now. Jeff's gang's all here now. I'm sorry, boss, but your brother Jeff is dead. Uh, and then so they go and tell uh, the the head ninja guy, "Hey, Jeff's your brother Jeff is dead." <laughs> Again, your brother Jeff. And adopted kind of from this moment he, he just snaps. Yeah, he was killed by dragon sound Yeah, he's like well fuck we're getting we got to avenge Jeff and I love this he goes this line he yells We must avenge Jeff's death. They will not escape the Miami ninja <laughs> They will not escape the Miami ninja <laughs> Uh, uh, why isn't this movie called Miami Ninja? That's I another know. great oh, good game. news. Good news. They found Jim's dad. My father. Oh yeah, they get. The, oh, so he goes out, uh, but unbuttoned pants to the mailbox, gets <laughs> oh. a letter, and is like, "Oh my god, he's so happy." He has his like father. <laughs> yeah, he's like, "Oh, like he's so excited." My father. My father. I found my father. Oh my god. Oh my god. And this is where it's so nice. His friends come out and they're like so happy for him that he found his dad. And they're all like high fiving and they're like, How much money do <laughs> okay, you have? Hang on, hang on. Yeah, two things, two things. One is they they, they get him up on their shoulders. They do a Rudy, yeah. They do a Rudy. <laughs> fucking Rudy him. Holonos has a bath towel on out yeah. there. <laughs> So great. And I love, they're like, YK Kim's like, hey, hey, Hollow Notes, how much money do you have in your bank account? And, and he's like, $200? How much money you left in the bank? I think I have about 200. And, and Michael Swimmer's like, I got 60 in my pocket or whatever. And they're like, we're going to the suit store. We go, we're going to use the rest of our money to buy Jim a suit so that when he meets his dad, he looks good. And I'm like, that is the best friendship. Those are the, they are the best friends in the world. I have $50 left. I get about What's 60 Okay, what's your best to store? Well, yeah. we're right, gonna run right the world. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 right. right. uh, Brian, I gotta find my, you know, meeting my long lost father. Is there any way I can get some money for a suit? No. Just wear some normal clothes. <laughs> like, to, why do you need a suit to meet your dad? <laughs> All right, you're already disappointing me. You can't disappoint him further. <laughs> oh, it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then it would. So then uh, the ninjas are training or whatever, well, getting ready. This is also where we, they meet up with Jane when they yeah. get back to the yeah, house. Yeah, they get back to the house. And they're like, Jane. "I'm sorry, we killed your brother." I had a lot of thinking to do. I'm hurting inside, you know, and 
I just couldn't stay away for long because I love you so much. I'm so sorry about what happened. I felt so bad about that. She's like, it's okay. I'm over it. <laughs> She's like over it the next day. It's not your fault. I understand. You had to do it. You had no choice. I understand. It's all over now. That's true. It's okay. And she's like, that's nah, it's fine. And then she makes out with Michael Swimmer. And I love there's a cutaway to Jim just staring at him like, yeah. <laughs> you kiss her. <laughs> like, it's so weird. It's so weird. And this is the point where I'm like, oh, oh, Jim's going to die, right? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, because like, oh, they're all so happy that he's going to meet his dad. And so they're driving him to the airport to meet his dad. And this is where the ninjas are on motorcycles. Oh, my God. So they're driving to the airport and they round a corner. It's... <laughs> they round a corner. This is everything that ninjas are not. I know. In the middle of the day <laughs> on motorcycles. Driving down the main street. And confronting their enemies. Yeah. And YK Kim goes, oh, ninjas. <laughs> oh, ninjas. <laughs> like that's a normal yeah, thing. Just the most blase reaction to a motorcycle <laughs> gang of ninjas in front of you. Oh, ninjas. No. And then so they, uh, it, it, this is where it all goes down. They all hop, they all come after him and they hop off a bridge down into a botanical garden that they're at or whatever. Yes. Um, and they start fighting everybody, and they're and they're all running away from everybody, and uh, and this is where I was like, oh yeah, Jim's totally gonna die. And of course, what happens? He gets his chest sliced the fuck open. <laughs> yes. He's just like, no, we just bought the oh, suit. The new suit. We just spent all of our life savings on. It. The suit was the biggest casualty in this thing. Yes. They just bought that. They just spent all of their money on that suit. And <laughs> fucking YK Kim's reaction to Jim. <laughs> it's insane. Ah, Jim! Ah! Dying. Jim! <laughs> Jim! And then the whole rest of the movie. It's, my, it's more insane on the fact that he's like, hey, Jim, I'm going to drag you through this through disease infested <laughs> water. No, assuming on the off chance he's going to survive, you just gave him all of the infections. <laughs> like, you just drug his open, gaping chest wound through a stagnant old <laughs> creek. Like, oh, it's the worst idea in the world. Ugh. But I love the whole rest of this movie. Uh, YK Kim is so. <laughs> like he looked like he was gonna have an aneurysm the whole rest of the movie i was oh like dude God. you're going to explode you need to bring it down one notch like it looks painful um <laughs> Oh, and then uh, there's just each of them. All the ninjas have like katanas. Yeah, and they they so and this is where uh, Michael Phelps and 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 YK Kim get katanas, and there's this is they just, they start, just murdering start murdering the hell everybody. Out of They start killing all these ninjas in great glorious ways. Um, I love there's one moment where uh, Michael Phelps is fighting a ninja and you can see and they're in like the creek area and you can see and i don't know if you notice this in the background it's i don't know if it's crew or if it's some random people who were walking through the park are just I hope sitting it, there I hope it was just random watching people. they're just like God. it's a ninja fight down I, there i feel bad i didn't see that <laughs> so it's like this woman and a guy and then it looks like a couple guys with sticks like standing there like leaning maybe with shovels like <laughs> like construction workers they're just watching michael phelps fight this ninja in the creek like oh, this is interesting and i love michael phelps stabs a dude and it just oh. gallons of blood <laughs> just spray directly onto his face and like twice it goes like <laughs> and hey then hey god we got another pressure <laughs> <laughs> And then he 
he's so just covered in blood and he rips his fucking shirt well, off. Well, he gets slashed in the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which, he, by the way, also more infections in this world. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. They're all going to end up with, yeah, they're all going to uh, end up with some very serious infections that it's going to need dealing with. And, and, and so he rips his shirt off gloriously. And he's just covered in blood. And he's just screaming. He's screaming. And then, I, love, I love, too, in this whole scene, you can tell there's... YK Kim is constantly screaming. Like, you can see it, but it, we don't hear it most of the time. We hear it sometimes where he screams. You know what you're going to have to do now. Yeah, go in and... Edited. Okay, I'm gonna have to capture some screams. <laughs> He's, uh, it's it's so good. And then uh, what happens? One, oh, one yeah, the, uh, one Michael Phelps injured. slices that dude's face open. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who turns around to the camera and it's just like, Bruh. it's like the one good effect shot we. Had. I mean, some of the other slices were okay, but this guy's face is like obliterated. Yeah. Uh, one of the ninjas is injured, but gets away to... Uh, and the rest of them are dead. Yes. <laughs> Goes up to his boss and he's like, Boss, boss, everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. Not everyone. And <laughs> just decapitates him. Slices the ninja's head off. We get a close-up of his neck, a little blood spurt. Um, and then, uh, and he's wearing white. Yeah, he's the, main the best. Guy's he's, wearing, the best he's the best ninja. He's wearing all white. Um... And so then he goes to confront YK Kim in like the final showdown, basically. And I love that. I was like, I like to imagine whoever, like in the universe of this film, after this fight ends, whoever like was wa walking through the trails of that uh, botanical garden next and they're like, why are there dead ninjas everywhere? <laughs> there are dead ninjas. But they get into everywhere. a fight, and you can tell the person in this ninja garb is not him. I think it's Jeff. I think it's Jeff. I think the actor uh, who played, I think cause I, his, I, I could tell those smoky, beautiful eyes anywhere. That motherfucker, and he's got very full eyebrows. I think it's Jeff. Sure. I, th I think it was Jack, the drummer dude. I don't think, it could be. It could have been him too. I think it was Jeff because we we, we we see Jeff do a fair amount of fighting earlier in the movie too. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of proficient. Whereas we don't see the drummer do much because he doesn't really fight a lot. Yeah. I think it was Jeff. Um, like either the, the guy from earlier wasn't there that day. Maybe, maybe we like see was, his beard through the mask. <laughs> I swear you can kind of see it at one point. I paused like four times like... Is that Jeff? I, it looks like Jeff to me. They get disarmed to the point where they're down to just a little yeah, dagger thing. And a little knife. He, um, YK Kim thinks he's got him. And oh, he like punches him and away. knocks him out and turns his back on him like, like an idiot. The... <laughs> yeah, like yeah. fucking idiot. Uh, and, and then this is where we get the moment from earlier yeah, where the guy charges the slowly with a knife at his back and YK Kim turns around, grabs it, and gas. Stabs him in the stomach, killing him. But, but they get Jim to the hospital. In time. They do, and then but so Jim isn't dead. Surprise! I thought he was yes. totally gonna die. But, but apparently, apparently Michael Swimmer doesn't need any medical attention. No, he's, got a he's freaking fine. Gash in his back. He's fine. But we finally <laughs> find Jim's dad, who just has baby powder in his hair. He's like oh, the same he's age. He's younger than Jim. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Doctor, how is my son? Jim was extremely fortunate. The wounds weren't as deep as we initially thought. He did lose a lot of blood, but there was very little internal damage. Oh, thank God. When can we see him? Holy shit! I saw that! I was like, that that actor is younger than the guy playing Jim. <laughs> they were just like, uh, your hair's gray. Very convincing fake uh, gray hair. And yeah, he's talking to YK Kim about thanks for saving my son or whatever. And then he's like, I, I, I don't want to let him down again. I, you know, blah, blah, blah. Some stuff and happened. Uh, Hall and Oates was too good to show up for his friend's <laughs> recovery. Jim, how would it feel? It still hurts. But seeing you guys again, and seeing my father, 
it's all that matters. They their their final moment is they're like walking out of the hospital, and and before we get to the final final moment, they have a great line where one of them goes, "Nobody's ever gonna mess with our band again." No one's gonna mess with our band again. Now we're all safe. <laughs> I'm like. Why are people messing with your band? So what is stupid. going on? And then it, we, we get a freeze frame. Freeze and frame as they're walking black. Out. Oh my God. And then it comes in with the greatest text ever. Only through the elimination of violence can we achieve world peace. In a movie, that's entire predication is violence. They just murdered everybody. <laughs> They just murdered like a hundred ninjas in the park. Oh, uh, it's glorious. It's yeah. The whole thing is now. To be fair, but they it's were not always just that because we we did the uh, um, Michael Schwimmer with a katana doing his scream. Yeah, and then YK Kim yeah. with a katana doing his scream. Yeah. and then it fades to that text yeah. of a scene that some people have just been sliced <laughs> and diced, and we have that message. Do you see the alternative ending? There's an alternative yes, ending. Yes, Jim I just did. Jim just dies in the car. Oh. That makes so much more sense. Jim. Jim. You can die. Don't die. You can't die. On. The father is coming. That's way better. <laughs> really? Yes. That's fantastic. I feel like they were like, we need a happy ending, I guess. You need to see your father. Hang on. Jim, your father is coming now. Oh no. Jim's father's on that plane. Well, that was that was glorious, dude. Miami Connection. There's a reason it's been requested a million times, and it's considered a cult classic. It's good, it's bad. good, bad. It's so it's classic, good. good, bad. It like, is so it's fucking everything bad. everything you could want in a film. It, it, the beautiful thing is never not entertaining. No, it's never boring. But which is one of the best things. One of the most one of the toughest things for good bad movies to do is to never be boring, because. It's just hard to make a movie interesting the whole way through, yeah. but they managed to do it. There's always something you're never bored. It's a night. It's a tight hour 25. It's not too long. Uh, it, there's always either some crazy action or bad acting or amazing music or something going on. Um, like that's kind of that's you know that's kind of why in a way I mean these films I would say they're rarity. It's it's, it's rare to make a film that's like great good like, yeah like you know like a citizen can or something yeah, yeah, yeah i say that citizen can is boring as shit but, yeah it's boring but it's a it's a well crafted yeah, yeah. well done or, or even like uh scarface with tony montana sure you have a, a bunch of you movies. need that same level of at the same time incompetence it's, it with is bad movie yes. making it, it is a it is a weird thing to be to find that mixture between being that good at making something interesting and and not boring, but also bad. Failing at every yeah. level. <laughs> like it, it is a weird. It is a. It, that's why it's so. It's so rare to find those perfect gems of. Uh, you know, Neil Breen manages to do it, but even his films, it's not, certain of them are get a little boring sometimes. Mm. But to find those gems where it's just like never boring, but and but also just the worst, but also the best. It's it's super rare, but yeah, this is this is one of them. It's it's up among the upper echelon, uh, of of good bad films. So. That's going to do it for the 60th episode of Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad, Miami Connection. Uh, Kyle, we're in the new studio. Uh, we were, How much time we got? We have here? popped the studio's yeah, cherry now. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> cut that out you fucking weirdo yeah we're in the new studio uh it's pretty exciting it's pretty cool uh we're we're able to have this grant we were able to replace the camera so quick and get up and running again because yes. of all our supporters on Thank patreon you and all of our people who watch us on youtube and support us there uh i mentioned this in a tweet and on facebook some of our if you're looking for a hand there's three uh current uh of our reviews anaconda deck the halls and sleepwalkers have been uh copyright claimed and are blocked currently um yeah and they're all they're all fair use compliant but what are you gonna do it's just somebody fucking somebody claimed them somewhere you know some company claimed them and then eh, whatever I, I, I talked about somebody claiming deck the halls and then somebody was like why would anyone want to claim ownership to that film <laughs> and i was like got him oh, <laughs> fucking man. got him um but yeah, uh, so if you want to, you can support us on Patreon. Uh, it's how we're able to uh, get all this cool stuff for the studio, the new cameras, the new lights. Uh, we're going to get the new table that Kyle built. Uh, all kinds of good stuff. Um, you get a back, uh, access to our back catalog of 
uh, podcast, uh, and we do future podcast episodes going forward, which include AMAs and us talking about current movies and you know, kind of the state of the sh- channel and Updates, show. And that you get early thing. access to everything. Early episode. access to everything, uh, assuming I get it done, and I usually I always do, or we always do get them done at you least a I day early. Get it done. <laughs> yeah, even we get them done at least a day early. I usually try to get them done two days early, so that you get get it on a Wednesday instead of Friday, but you'll at least get it Thursday instead of Friday. So you get a, a, ahead of everybody. Um, also, just some other background stuff like pictures of the studio, uh, updates on that sort of thing. Um, some of that stuff I put on Facebook, other stuff I just exclusively leave on Patreon for that kind of thing. Uh, we, we do AMAs on there in our podcast if you want to ask us questions about stuff we've worked on or anything like that. I do I do have a bit of a, a thing to talk about. So oh. a film, a, a oh, yeah. film I had worked on for uh, way too long. <laughs> Yeah, wait, you God, you worked on that forever. I know. Uh, it is finally getting a release. It, to, it, it's a limited to release. It's a limited release. I'm going to be Kyle's arm um, candy at the premiere. It is called Interviewing Monsters. Yeah. It stars Tom Green, our favorite Canadian, <laughs> yeah. along with another one of I our think, favorite Canadians. I was going to say, Les Stroud, Les Stroud is Stroud. my favorite Canadian <laughs> over Tom Green, I think. But, yeah. But, okay, so the film is going to have a limited release. There's places, I think, like Tallahassee has something, uh, Nashville, Tennessee, uh, St. Louis. Yeah. So there, there's a couple of different spots. I don't know how many theaters it's in. Yeah. Uh, you should be able to find Interviewing Monsters on, say, Eventbrite. That's going to yeah. have all the locations. So, so that's, that's yeah. a little something to look for. Kyle, to. what did you do on it? I don't go uh, way in depth, but just... Okay. Um... According to the credits, I'll put that in giant quotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was our f- uh, first assistant camera. First assistant camera. Um, which also means I was basically best boy gaffer. Best boy. Uh, God, was the best Boom boy. operator, yeah. audio recorder. It was, a small, it was a small production, so you do a lot, end up doing a lot of things, yeah, basically. Yeah. And um, you may even see me in the film. Oh, there's a fun, fun little thing for you. Uh, speaking of a thing I have, I have a podcast called This Film is Lit, where me and my girlfriend talk about movies that are based on books. We're in the middle of our Harry Potter run right now. We've done the first two, uh, Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. We're about to get into Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, which is when they're going to start to get more interesting because this is when I start to diverge from the books and I get more opinionated on the changes they've made. So we both will. Uh, me and Katie both will. So you can check that out on anywhere you download podcasts. Uh, this film is lit. Right. Luna and the Moonling is out. Uh, yes for me, Force. Uh, a fan of the show. Uh, See some of his some fantastic of his art. art that we have. Uh, this is my favorite. Adorning one. our walls. I love this cool uh, land whale thing. That totally ripped that off of uh, Majora's Mask. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, he sent us some art. Uh, but anyways, he, he has a video game that he was, I guess, art director. I don't know. He was working on a big part of a, a game called Luna and the Moonling. You can check it out on Steam. Uh, it, it should be out by now. By the time this video is out, he told me in, in a message recently that it was coming mm-hmm. out very soon. Um, I think we might be in the credits. But yeah, check it out. It's really cool. I played it uh, I played it quite a handful of times, and it's really fun. It's like a just a little top-down like isometric puzzler where you play two different characters. You switch back and forth. It's really chill, cool art style. Um, if you like puzzle games, uh, you basically you're like trying to get people or these two different characters to a certain point and collect items and you have to like move blocks and it, you know, it's like a classic kind of puzzle game, uh, mm. but it's really fun. Uh, cool, chill. Uh, the music's nice. The art style's cool. I really enjoyed it. Uh, so check it out. Luna in the Moonling and support Jesper because he's a, he's a cool dude and uh, he does some cool art. So <laughs> that's going to do it for the 60th episode of Good, Better, Bad, Bad. Until next time, keep watching movies. Especially Miami Connection people. Come on. Friends forever. Against the ninja. Loyalty, honesty. (laughs) 